guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a haul, and I have my birthday. Hello. We're, We're so doing glad I finally get to film. <laughs> we're in New York currently and we thought we'd show you guys the stuff we bought because I think we're pretty much done shopping So yeah, let's just get started Woo! We're gonna start off with brandy first of all, I just got one article of clothing I tried on a bunch, but I only like this one and it's this little Gray tank top. It's a little bit of a crop top, but it's not too bad You can still wear it with like a jean or something and not show too much skin And it just has stripes which I love and then I also got this little keychain, and it has, well, I got two of them, but they're the exact same thing. And they're the little poop keychains. They're the little emoji. And I just got that for a few of my friends. I just got one thing there. I got a pair of shorts, and I have a pair of these that I use usually just like lounge around in and like sleep in, so I wanted to get another pair, and these are just the kind of tie-dye material, and these have little ruffles on the bottom. I love these. <laughs> All right, next I went to Victoria's Secret and I actually got a bikini. Their swim was on a really good sale. So I kind of just mixed and matched these. I found this top and it's just black with like a white trimming. I really like it because I think it'll go with everything. It was originally $25. It was marked down to $15 and then I got it for $7, which is awesome. And I actually got these little green um, ruffly bottoms to go with them. And I have a lot of tops that this can go with as well, so I really like that. They're originally 19 I got them for about $12. So next we have Macy's, and I specifically went in there to look for the Anastasia liquid lipsticks. They had like the entire range, so I got two of them, and they're both neutral, of course. I got Pure Hollywood and Milkshake. We have Pure Hollywood here. And then milkshake here. Milkshake's a lot lighter than Pure Hollywood. I've heard a ton of different people loving these and raving about them recently, so I got those two. So the next place I went is Aritzia, and I actually just found one item because everything there is like pretty expensive. Yeah, even though it was on sale, it still wasn't that great. But I actually got this little purple top. Looks like this. It's kind of a crop top again, but you can still wear it with jeans. I mean, it's really not that bad. Um, and it's one of those like higher rise kind of, which I really like. It's in style right now. Really pretty. I also want to mention that Dana got me this shirt from Brandy Melville for my birthday, but it's actually in my suitcase, which is being, you know, recorded on right now. <laughs> but it's just like a striped kind of high neck tank top. And it's actually in the vlogs, so, or yesterday's vlog. So if you want to go check that out, that will be linked down below. But yeah. Man. Okay, the last thing I got at Macy's is the Anastasia Cream Contour Kit. I've been wanting this for such a long time. I've been seeing it on Instagram a ton recently, but basically it just has the cream kind of contours, and I love the powder ones, so I really wanted to give the cream a try. Oh, heavens. Beautiful. That's just what the colors look like. I'm really excited to use it. All right, so we went to Forever 21. It was actually four floors. Maggie didn't get anything, but I know. Sorry. Mean, I found a few things. I was really on the search for tops because I just want some new summery tops. So I got this one, which is like a little crop top and it actually has cutouts on the side. And I think it would look really cute with like a black circle skirt or something. And it's just really colorful. And then I also got this top that's kind of similar to what you find at like Brandy. And it has the high neckline, um, again, like the Ritzia top, a little bit of a crop top, not too bad. And it's just some plain black and white stripes. And then I also got the dress which I'm wearing, which will show a close up yeah. in the video. Um, but yeah, that's all I got from Forever 21. We actually both made our own lipsticks at the Bite Beauty Lip Lab. Again, we showed it in the vlog, so we're both gonna show you our lipsticks. This is the packaging, just like a little red box, and it just tells you where they made it, which is really cool because they like made it pretty much in front of you. So you could pick the different casts, which was really cool. So I kind of chose like this slanted one. You could also pick your scent. So mine is like a citrus mango kind of. And then that is just what the color looks like. You're almost like cover on my face. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll focus. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit of a, like a light pink kind of, and it's in a cream finish. So it is pretty pigmented on the lips, which is really nice. It's really pretty. And then I got mine too. This is a lipstick one that I chose. This has like a little, yeah. I really like how you can buy it, like, it's just, like the different ways people wear it on their lipsticks. Yeah. So, and mine is just like a mauve nude kind of color, and I got a cream finish as well, even though it looks kind of matte, because I actually put it in the fridge, we both did, because I was worried after we made it that it was so hot that day that we didn't really know if it set properly, yeah. so we put them in the fridge when we got home. But yeah, I'm really excited about that lipstick. I think it's really cool how you can make your own color. Even you though it's probably, your own scent. Exactly. So even though there's probably like a shade very similar to this out there, 
at least you can kind of personalize it yourself. Yeah. So that was really fun. <laughs> Next, we went to Aerie, and I got two little bralettes because I'm pretty much obsessed with their bralettes. So the first one I got is just white, it's pretty basic, it just has the razor back on the bag. And then I also got this really pretty like periwinkle kind of color, it's gorgeous, and this one is just like a different kind of cut, it's just the straps. But they are actually 25% off, I think it was also buy one get one half off, so I think I got two for 30 which is really good considering originally they're both like 22 or something, so. Yeah. Yeah, it was a really good little sale. I also got a beige one, but I'm wearing it right now, so I feel like it's kind of, you know, unnecessary to show you. Yeah. Yeah. Next, I got a bunch of things from Topshop, actually. First thing I got is this shirt, and I saw it immediately knew I wanted it. I've seen it all over Instagram, YouTube. It's just this little crop top, and it has stripes on it, of course. And then it has the little floral pattern along the bottom and on the sleeves and it's actually like a 3d kind of floral which is really really cute yeah. okay and then we actually went to go see the hunger games exhibition i put a couple photos on instagram about it but it was super cool they also had like a little avengers part we didn't go into the like exhibit thing but we also we went to the store of course so i got this shirt and the reason i got it was because it's literally chris hemsworth which is really nice so it has thor on it and I've always found that like the t-shirts they make are always like the cartoon kind of drawing of Thor, which don't get me wrong, I still love that. But this one actually has his face on it! Heavens! Mm -hmm. And then it has New York in the back, so it says like NYC on it. I don't know, it's super touristy, but I, <laughs> I, just, really, I just really like it. And then I also got this little necklace from the Hunger Games exhibition, and it's really, really cute. It's the Mockingjay symbol from the third one. Alright, next thing I got from Topshop is actually, um in my fave color and it's just a really basic little blouse but I, I could definitely picture myself wearing this with like tucked into white shorts or like with a blazer on top or something it's really cute really really nice and it actually has like a little bit of a slip kind of on the inner part of it i don't know if you can see that but it's really nice because then it's not so sheer up at the top where your bra is and stuff <laughs> Okay, now moving on to Sephora slash what Dana bought me for my birthday. So she got me a couple of things makeup wise and it's pretty nice of you, man. Just the first thing she got me was the Naked Skin Concealer and this is in the shade Fair Neutral. And this is actually a really good shade for my under eyes. It's really, really nice. And I love the Naked Foundation, so I've always wanted to try the Naked Concealer. I also got the License to Blot by Benefit, the Professional. So that's just what it looks like. It's really not gonna focus, there we go. And it's just like a little stick, so you can just kind of quickly put it on and I've always wanted to try this so perfect yes and the last thing that I have is my Marc Jacobs which completely surprised me because I've never tried anything from Marc Jacobs and I've never actually like put anything on my wish list because like it is never so like it's high end yeah it's like mm -hmm. some luxury but this is super cute this is the kiss pop lip color stick okay use me in the shade pow it just has like a little crayon kind of looking I guess cap and then the inside like you know those like chubby lip pencil things this is a really pretty color it's like a really nice pink and it's a matte finish which i really like so thank you thank you all right so the last thing i got from top shop is actually for my boyfriend um so hopefully this video is up after i've given it to him and i assume it will yeah um <laughs> probably yeah. judging by my editing skills i mean Mm, I still like the vlog. <laughs> Man, you're fine. So it's just this black shirt um, with a white trimming. He actually has a shirt that's exactly like it from Ralph Lauren that's white with blue trimming. So they had one with, that was all white with black trimming, but I thought it was too similar to the one he already has. So I just got him the black one. It's really nice because it has um, like a skinny chest to it. So it's not going to be like a giant bag on him. It actually is kind of fitting. And I really like the kind of like unique look of it with the black and then the white trim. So now I have Sephora and I went a little ham in Sephora because it was my birthday and I just saw these things like <gasps> add to the bag. Um, so the first thing I got is this little Kat Von D Lip Vixen Duo and I'll just show you what it looks like here. It basically comes with a lipstick and then a liquid lipstick and I think the red is in the color uh, Outlaw and the nude is in the color Noble. I've already tried the liquid lipstick and it was really good. I also picked up the mini of the Becca Opal Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid. I have the press and I love it. I'll take this one out because you can kind of see. Um, the color is basically it's what it is in the packaging but it's just really beautiful highlight and 
You guys know how I feel about my highlights. I'm a little obsessed. Definitely. So it's a little. And then I also got this little birthday gift from Sephora. This is just like their lip kind of set. It comes with two NARS lip pencils and then an eyeliner. And they're really nice shades. It's really small in the package, but you guys have probably seen these before because um, they've been all over YouTube. I also picked up one of these Sephora Luster Matte Longwear Lip Colors. This is in the shade Fig Luster. And this is always Beautiful. out of stock. Always. Like in stores at home, online. So like, when I saw it, I was like, yes! Okay. So it's just what it looks like. It's a very Maggie color, as you can probably tell. <laughs> and the last thing I got is from Buxom. And this is kind of impulse buy. Yeah, that's what you would call it. This is the Pastel Persuasion Eyeshadow Palette. And the packaging is adorable. Look at this. The peacock, but it has these really nice, like pastel kind of colored shades in it. And I really actually don't have any eyeshadows that are like any of these colors, which is awesome. as weird as it is, but it's true. All right, that's it for now. All right, I also went to Sephora, but as you can see, my bag is tiny. She was kind of restrained, I just went ham. But what else new <laughs> at Sephora, honestly? First of all, I got this be the Beauty Blender because I've just heard so much about it. My skin's really bad. I know, I know. <laughs> My skin's really bad anyway, so I mean, I'll do anything to make it a little bit more coverage. I feel like this would work really, really well. Um, I also have the Tarte Foundation, the Tarte Amazonian Clay, and it's a little bit thick with a brush sometimes, so I feel like a sponge would work a lot better. Yeah. And I decided to just splurge and get the Beauty Blender rather than getting some knockoff one because obviously it's really great if a lot of people have it. And then I also got the Viva La Juicy perfume. I was kind of debating between the Marc Jacobs Dot perfume and the Viva La Juicy, but we both like the Viva La Juicy more. Yeah. It's kind of a little bit more girly. I think it also smelled like better on your skin, like your chemistry. Yeah. I think that too. Like the Jacob, the Dot one's really nice too, but this one's just like it was a little mm. bit of a younger scent too. The Dot yeah. one was more for yeah older ladies. Yeah, exactly. Um, not like it's not nice. I love it, but yeah. yeah. Still. <laughs> so I got that. I'm really excited because I've been running out of some of my fragrances lately. So should spice things up. These are my last Sephora purchases. The first one I got is this. This is also kind of an impulse buy, but I saw it and I was like, <gasps> this is the Urban Decay Sheer Evolution Lipstick in the shade Sheer Liar, which is a really pretty nude. And I've only ever tried their regular lipsticks and I love them, but this is the sheer one. It's like in a purple package. Oh, such a pretty color. Ooh. The packaging. The packaging's really pretty. I also got this lip gloss from Sephora, but this is their... Uh, gel gloss ultra brilliant lip shine in the shade perfect nude and it's just like a really nice nude color as you probably guess but I know that I'm gonna use this like I, I feel like if I was gonna try out a new kind of product I want to get something I know I'm gonna use so I can see if I like Definitely. it but I've heard really good things about these so far and the last thing I got is the other Becca Shimmering Sam Perfector in the shade Moonstone which is also a little bit of a lighter kind of color compared to like the opal. Anyway, that's everything I think. That wasn't actually as long as I thought it was gonna yeah, be. Yeah. So I mean, I say that now. Sephora stuff. It's all right, it's all right. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to go check out Dana's channel. Thank she, you, I will start filming yeah, soon. Yeah, the reason she's gonna film is because her computer, the editing software isn't working very well, so it's like, Getting a new laptop within the next couple months here. I have a bunch of videos planned, even stuff on my old computer that I just haven't been able to edit and that I'm gonna put up, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, make sure you go check out all the New York vlogs. I'll have them all linked down below. Not really sure this video is gonna be up, but sometime, some point in the future. Anyway, we love you guys so much and we'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, oh right, I forgot to die. Okay, all right, sorry. Down here. Down, down. Well, not a bunch, but a few. So, um, you can cut that out. <laughs> okay. Look at the memento. I got to see what J-Lo wore in the movies. <laughs> Dan doesn't like J-Lo. <laughs> That's like chilly. <laughs> Just leave it. And it's also a boy's shirt. Like, not a men's shirt. A boy's shirt. Just point that out. But you know, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. And then I also got the license to pl to plot. <laughs> all right, now I just have a couple more things. These are my last. Oh, I just had some coins in there. That's awkward. <laughs> this is the Urban Decay Sheer Revolution. Revolution. Oh, I think I have way too much caffeine in that frappuccino. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm like vibrating.